Baker is serving it to you raw and uncut. Open your mouth, give you a taste. If you, could, if you guys can see what happens in the studio when the songs are playing, sometimes we're partying and other times I'm just trying to get myself together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. All right, let's get into this. Um, shout out to Sean Mendez. Can we talk about Sean Mendez for a little bit? I feel sorry for this kid. I just, you know, I hate how, I just hate how we treat him. I just hate how we treat him because you know, just, I, I just think it is, it is a process. I think people want to hear "gay" so bad from this kid, but I don't think it's just gay. I, I think, I think we're missing something. I don't think it's as simple as gay. You know, like you know, um, he confesses that he's still figuring it out. On Monday, he spoke to fans between songs as he performed his friends and family tour date at the Red Rocks Amphitheater in Colorado. It would be Colorado. He said, some days I have to change of heart. And you can say, uh, you need to say, you can say what you need to say. He said, footage uh, shared on TikTok, it says, you can, I can say I'm too young. You can say I'm too old. You can say I like girls or boys, whatever fits your mold. Mm, old mold, got it. Um, <laughs> I know that's what I picked up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He goes, since I was really young, there have been this thing about my sexuality. Oh, is this what he said? Okay, all right. He said the people have been talking about it for so long, forever. I think it's kind of silly because I think my sexuality is a beautiful, complex thing. Thank you, and it's so hard to just uh, put into boxes. Thank you. This is why I can see him being non-binary or being um, polyamorous or being, you know, whatever it is, uh, demisexual. He could be some type of, you know, it's like, that's why he said he's still figuring it out. And somehow people say this is not a math equation. Well, actually, it is a math equation because it's science. And I know people hate science. I know you hate the word. You think that everything's just a decision and that's it. You know what I mean? You, you you just decide on something and you stick with it. You know, that's the old way of thinking. You just you decide whether you're going to be straight or gay. You're going to fit these boxes and you're going to live through these boxes. No, no, you don't have to do that anymore. So stop doing it. And stop forcing other people to get into boxes that they don't want to be in. This is one thing I, I, I will constantly fight, fight for. I will fight for the right for people to decide when the hell they want to decide what the hell they are and how they want to identify. Again, it is totally different than how we want to identify them. You can identify them all you want by the actions that you see. And that's good. That's fine. But they are, you can't hold them to what you decide that they are you have to hold them to what they decide who they are and if they're saying they're figuring it out well then they're figuring it out you can go around and beat your wheat your meat every time you see them doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be with them regardless even if he was homosexual you know what i mean like it really doesn't matter you know what i'm saying i mean whoever he's sleeping he's probably already there he's just telling you guys he's figuring it out you know what i mean Figuring it out means you just don't decide you're gay by one man you sleep with. All right, I slept with a man. I want some. I'm gay. I think a lot of us that fell into that. You know what I'm saying? And then it confused things when 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 you have a stigma around being gay, and so then you develop this DL relationships. Then you start you start forming yourself into a DL um, a type of lifestyle where. You're constantly doing both and, and hiding one over the other, you know, or, you know, actually broadcasting your straight relationships with minimizing those those private times you've had with that either particular guy or whoever guy of the month you're having it with. You know, there are certain ways that certain people work. You know what I mean? I know DL relationships that people were, they were in relationships for decades. Shout out to Mr. Lover. Mr. Lover. It's on, um, um, on BBC, right? But you can't, you just can't put people in boxes because you want to. We do it because it just makes it easier for us. It's, it's easier for us to comprehend or us to process. But it has nothing to do with him. It has nothing to do with his life. And you don't have to tell him what to be when he doesn't want to be it, okay? if Listen, Sean, we welcome you here at the Mafia because clearly you are not heterosexual. That's what you can tell us. That's all we know because heterosexual is easy to decide. It is easy to decide. Only like women. That's it. That's all. Anything else is complicated and 
falls within the LGBTQ community. This is how big our community tent is. You know what I'm saying? So welcome to the family. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? We're always here for you. All right? Shout out to Sean Mendez. You know what I mean? It's one of our Latino family. All right? Latinx. You like Latinx? You know what I'm saying? Whatever he wants. Okay? And send him that that, that um, basket of edibles from us. Okay? Thank you, Royal. And put that in there. I think we need to leave the man alone. He's 26 years old. He's still young. He's still young. He's still a young man. He can decide what the hell he wants to do. You know, stop putting people in boxes, people. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> just, please just stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No sloppy toppies. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Check out full episodes of Raw and Uncut, Monday through Friday, 7 to 11, live streaming on We Are You Radio. Or hit the link in the bio to download the We Are You Radio app, comment, subscribe, and thanks for listening to Raw and Uncut on We Are You Radio, the urban sound of pride.